Imagine you would never fall sick or become highly intelligent. He was more than intelligent. Resistant to diseases or can have designer babies that have preferred eye color or hair color. Well, this dream of yours can soon become a reality. What if I told you scientists discovered a tool that can precisely edit DNA like a simple word document? A tool so powerful it could eliminate genetic diseases, supercharge crop yields and even resurrect extinct species. Well, buckle up because today we are diving into the fascinating world of CRISPR technology and its potential to transform life as we know it. What is CRISPR? CRISPR at its core is a gene editing tool that allows scientists to alter DNA sequences and modify gene function. Think of it like molecular scissors for precisely cutting and pasting genes. It's derived from a natural defense system in bacteria but refined into a noble winning technology. Notably, the contributions of two remarkable women who won Nobel Prizes for their work in CRISPR have highlighted the potential for gender diversity in the field. But their journey also underscores the obstacles and biases that many women still face in the STEM field. As a result, there is still an ongoing fight for CRISPR patent. On one side of the fight is Broad Institute of MIT and Harvard. On the other side is the University of California, Berkeley. Both institutions claim to have invented CRISPR-Cas9. The Broad Institute filed for a patent in 2013, but Berkeley challenged it. The patent fight has been dragging for years and it's getting ugly. Dodna, a world-renowned biochemist along with Charpentier, won Nobel Prize for CRISPR research, but became the target of this derogatory comment. An editorial in the Nature Biotechnology Journal in 2016 criticized Dodna, suggesting that she prioritized her commercial interest over the greater good of science. This added fuel to the already contentious fire with gender bias casting a shadow over the patent dispute. And why should the patent of this tech could affect us? Because the one who owned the patent gets to decide the cost at which this will be made to public. Now, getting back to CRISPR, which stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats. How does it work? Researchers program a specialized Cas9 enzyme to target a specific DNA sequence. The enzyme cuts both strands and the cell's repair machinery, kicks in to mend the break, allowing edited DNA to be incorporated. This enables deletions, insertions and replacements of genetic mode with ease. Early Applications Now CRISPR is already making waves in fields like healthcare and agriculture. In medicine, it's paving the way for genetic therapies. Deleting malfunctioning genes that cause disease or editing stem cells to treat cancer. It's also showing promise for improving crops like soybeans and mushrooms. But things are just getting started. The exciting potential. CRISPR opens the door to a world of possibilities that once seemed like science fiction. Eliminating horrible genetic conditions like Huntington's disease, bringing extinct creatures like mammoths back from dead by rewriting the genomes, designing hardier crops to improve food security, even enhancing humans with traits like muscle growth or intelligence. Concerns around misuse, but such astounding power raises alarm bells too. Potential for weaponizing diseases or eugenic efforts to improve humanity. Fears that hobbyists could tinker with organisms in dangerous ways. And making permanent alterations to the gene pool that persists generation after generation. What's next? While the future remains uncertain, it's clear that we are entering a CRISPR era. In 2018, a Chinese researcher, He Jiang Kui, shocked the world when he announced the birth of twin girls whose DNA he edited using CRISPR. 
two beautiful little Chinese girls named Lulu and Lala came crying into the world as healthy as any other babies a few weeks ago. Jiang Kui was sentenced to three years in prison for his unauthorized experimentation on human embryos. Lulu and Lala was just a single cell. This surgery removed the doorway through which HIV entered to infect people. What Jiang Kui's story underscores is the global need for unified guidelines around human genome editing. CRISPR is inexpensive, accessible, and easy to use. Without cooperation across nations, rogue actor could push dangerous boundaries. That's why World Health Organization is now developing global governance framework. The decisions we make today will shape the future trajectory of the human genome. What's next? While the future remains uncertain, it's clear that we are entering a CRISPR era, and that requires a very careful oversight. So strap in, it is going to be one wild genetic ride.